I'm making a little video about the uh, building of a Chinese ES-335 kit. Uh, here's the box that came in. I already busted the tape loose uh, to make sure nothing was damaged inside. But anyway, this is the unboxing of it. Pretty much what we're going to get is a body and a neck, a bunch of parts. And a lot of bubble wrap, fortunately, because the box was pretty crushed from shipping. It had four stops from Massachusetts. They got a lot of bubble wrap in there. That's a good thing. So, you get into it after about four, four or five layers of bubble wrap. There's the neck. Uh, doesn't look like there's any damage to it or anything. Uh, then underneath is the body. I'll start filming again after I get the bubble wrap off. Okay, we uh, got to wrap off the neck. Uh, quick glance at it, it looks pretty nice. A little tiny bit of damage there right here by the uh, whatever it's the uh, adjusting area. Uh, the nut kind of crude looking. Uh, they're, they're frets. I don't know how long they're going to last, but uh, no problems with it really. It's, it's, a, it's a raw wood neck and you got to make it look nice. One problem I do have with it is right here. It's a horrible place to have a big chunk gone. Uh, that's going to challenge my woodworking skills a little bit to fill that in without it being too noticeable. Looks to me like the net got dropped and we've got some corner damage right there, so I don't know. I'll do the best I can to fix that. So, so that's the neck. Alright, I got to wrap off the body. Uh, it's got a nice flame on it. Very few uh, cosmetic flaws in the flaming. Uh, if you want to call them flaws, to me it's just character. Uh, it's a little rough, needs needs some clean up. Right up here is the roughest spot on the guitar and actually it's not a big deal because uh, it's where the binding ends, the roughness begins. So all that wood's going to be gone anyway. Uh, you can see it's kind of a rough cut right there. But like I said, I'm going to take it from the binding straight down. So all that rough cut's going to be gone anyway. And with my guitar, I'm going to make a little change up here with these guitars. They have you set the neck in until it stops right here. And then it doesn't look like a real ES-335. But other than that, the, uh, the body looks really nice. She's a beauty. She's got uh, pretty flame maple on it. Should die up real nice. That's the back. It's got a nice figure on the back. Nice shape. Laminated maple. It's not basswood. I didn't want to get one that was made out of basswood. They make real ES 335s out of laminated maple, and this is exactly what this is. You see the uh, bindings a little rough on the F holes, right, right there, and right there. But we can clean that up. And it looks like a pretty nice little body. I I'm impressed. They also send you a bag O electronics. Uh, I haven't gotten into it yet. It's all Chinese stuff. Uh, some of it might be usable. I hope all of it's usable. And uh, might just powder coat some of it or whatever. Something to make it look better. I see a crunchy looking pit guard in there. But other than that, uh, there's a lot of electronics in there. So it's enough to do the guitar, I'm assuming. I'm not going to open it up on camera. We'll You'll see that stuff as we go along.